So what is going on students, this is Devlin Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and, and we are here today. We're going to be doing a little combo video explaining kind of some of the plays you can do inside Crest Jet, man. Um, so before we get into it, if you uh, want any of the beautiful playmats, sleeves, stuff I use, you guys go and shop with dankritual.com. They got some pre-orders up. Um, if you go shop with them, they're my amazing supply sponsors. I get to use so many of their amazing products, and I'm really thankful that I get to do so. And if you need any amazing cards, please go shop with Kingslayer Cards. Use the promo code Scholar. Uh, supports me, supports the channel, supports one of the best stores in the game. Most importantly, gets you cardboard. They have their premium deck set pre-orders up for the summer. So if you want Revenger, Musketeer, Jewel Knights, those are already up. So go cop one before they run out because those decks are heat and arguably are going to probably be some of the best decks of the summer. So... Don't hold me, but a uh, video on that coming soon. But we're here to talk about Crest Jet. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna do a test hand to start. As you can see, like this deck is shuffled up. So we're gonna we're just gonna shuffle it more. Like don't worry. Like we're gonna see like your your odds of hitting the crest like off the rip. So we're gonna give this a good shuffles. And as you can see, like there's no way I can see the bottom. Nothing like that. See what you do is you want fair shuffling at all times. Bees, please be courteous to your opponent. See bottom and the top card are always changing uh someone asked me is like can you do a video on how you shuffle like this and i was like i mean it's pretty simple uh so i guess i would just like cover it here for a second like if they decide to click on this you kind of want your this bottom hand relax and as you pick up this card you kind of want to expand the bottom part to where like you just riffle in like what i want to learn how to do is i don't know if you guys saw that youtube short or, or the thing that was floating around facebook of the dude that was like setting his cards like this and then like they would like fall like down like one by one like it was crazy uh it was like so satisfying to watch if i can if i can find it again if i can find it again i'll post it because it was wild but um that's seven riffle shuffles that's good enough we'll check here so let's see what our starting hand is Grade one, zero, Elementaria, Urbatar, and the tick away. So that's a that's a easy five back. Cause we don't have our boy. Oh, look at that. Mazer Gear. Gear dog. Draw. Another Mazer Gear. And a Chronojet Dragon G. Okay. So actually not terrible. Although this looks kind of bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll we'll try to get there. And I'm sorry too if the glare is a little rough. Um I'll try to see if I can fix that i don't think i'm going to be able to though um let's see here if i turn those lights off does that make that better yeah it kind of makes it better so cool cool so you don't get overhead lighting it's better for the deck profile from how the lights were positioned the other way but uh for this we want it like this so as you can see uh this is our hand uh we've shuffled uh we'll cut one more time right um so this is our little setup um, so let's see if we're going to go, let's just say where we're going first, right? Um, we're going first. We're going to want to put on some pressure. So of course we're going to ride the major gear and draw two here and we're going to make the crest of course. So we'll go in here and grab the crest. So the crest is now all set up. We have the crest online and we're cooking. Uh, still no grade two is a little concerning, but, uh, we may have to G assist here, which will be tough. But, uh, alright. Say our opponent swings at us for one. It's another Gear Dog 8. So we got one damage here. We draw, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to G assist. But don't worry, we got freest G assist fodder in the game and that other Mazer Gear. So I am not too worried about that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Low key, we're gonna do this. Gonna ride our Ride Fixer. And don't worry, don't worry. We got this, boys. We got this. Because I'm also going to show um, other combo lines, uh, too, that you can get from doing um, all the other, uh, like, different effects, right? Um, uh, with just some other card combos, like, in combination. But I'm just trying to show you how this progression happens. So, we will want to get rid of... Um, we'll want to get rid of... This... And as weird as it sounds, probably that. If I'm going to keep it a stack. Um, yeah, because you can't really afford to get rid of the TikTok. So we'll say we'll get rid of those. Uh, we ride him. Then we would go for Gear Dog 8. Gear Dog 8 going to reveal us the good old Jet G. And we're going to go search. We're gonna go search for our no nah, I want I want one with a hot stamp. Sorry, I'm I'm a rarity buff. Uh yeah, one, oh no. 
Mm, the hot stamp. I'm looking through the camera. That's why I'm like not looking actually at my cards. Should 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 be doing that, but like, hey man, um, it's all good. So we'll uh, set it up over here. All the goods, right? Um, so again, we're just progressing through. Uh, we'll probably end up pitching the G since we need that heal in hand. Um, really wish we had an ear cob, but like it is what it is. Can't have everything in life, you know what I mean? Um, but what we will do is we will call the crit here. Uh, just so that way we can set up for a line for next turn. So we'll swing 18, CB1, bot deck the crit, and call the melum. So, because now we have a melum TikTok line set up for next turn, so we can actually do a lot of stuff. Uh, trust. We're going to be able to do actually a lot next turn. If our opponent gives us another damage. So, just just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, right? So, let's say let's say, let's say say we get, like, counter rush, right? So, let's see what our drive check is. It's a crit. So, cool. It's the card, like, we put back. Uh, uh, there we go. All effects Vanguard. Um, cool. So let's say we dealt our opponent two damage off that because that's 28. Um, all right. And they swing at us. Let's just say like they go for the uh, aggressive grade two turn. That's an ear cob. Um, it's another, oh damn, that's another tick tock. And then we'll just guard with the, uh, the 15. Right, right. So we can stand up. I know this is kind of like unconventional too. I'm trying to like see like how I can get like my entire frame in, but like with the face cam, with the face cam, it's a little hard. But uh, don't worry, because I think I think this is still good enough. Um, you guys can still see. And then the, the, we got the crest and everything going on. So yeah. All right. Uh, so let's just say that happens, and I draw for a turn. Okay, cool. Another heal. So actually, like not terrible now. So we're gonna stand, grab the heal, ride jet. We're gonna proceed to the main phase. So you have two options here because like we don't have amazing numbers, but we do have heals in hand. You can opt for force two. So like force two is really only applicable going first. If you have enough attacks, um, cause you can scale into higher numbers. So let's just say like, that's, that's the case, right? So let's just say that we're going to have an aisle of force twos. Um, my bad. I have to also stride into the boy, uh, <laughs> and get his effect here lined up. So we got the two, the two crit here, the two crit mafia, uh, and we have a Melum and a TikTok line, and that's all we need, right? I'm going to show you guys what you can do bear, uh, bear off a grade one and having these two set up. It's pretty pretty wild with like one to two open CB. So trust, all right? So we're going to start, of course. Uh, this is just a measly 16. Um, yeah, measly 16. If I had a... Uh, or measly um, 21. It would be 31 if I had the force one. So like, again, like that's for your like kind of judgment to decide, but 21 to crit. All right, cool. Uh, we were going to time leap and we are going to bind here. We're gonna grab a grade two and a grade zero as rest. So we're gonna go grab history maker and we're gonna go grab Urwatar. And don't worry, this is what I'm going to show you about like why like the different lines of play matter. So what you can do now here, right, is you can just swing for 14. But instead of time leaping the Urbatar immediately, you can do this. You can CB1, time leap the dog. The dog goes and grabs upstream. All right, bear, bear with me here, bear with me. Okay. Cause this is this is what you can do all right if you want to go for the more like time leap centric play where you can do the upstream this is why upstream is good so cool so this is 14 right this is 20 shuffle it back and go for here or what you can do is you can target this here actually you can do something a little, 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 a little cheeky, a little cheeky. Uh, because what you can do is you can set up this Urbatar either for the defensive play, which I would probably do here just since like we're behind because we've had a G assist, right? Um, so I much rather have like the heal plus like the bear lock to like guarantee setup. Um, so what you can do here now is that you can actually call this here and then do the following play where you can swing. 
this is because you've targeted this this is now uh 30 35 um 42 um two crit which is pretty good um so now you go triple drive first they like no guard this right second third elementaria so like all blanks so cool like nothing crazy you can time leap this now and what you can go for is you can go for your delayed blazer which is why I really like this card is you don't have to commit a lot into it. So you can go literally delayed blazer. Uh, we can time leap this boy and go into our Bali and our Bali here lets us get some good numbers. Um, be like 28 two crit or something crazy like that. And we've got to bot deck something on our opponent's field as well. So, like, this is, again, this is just, like, raw, like, me doing a test hand. Um, this is, like, what I feel would be good. Um, right? So, cool. That happens. We're going to activate the Bali effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no Chrono Jet in sight. So, he's going to get 10K. So, now he's 28 to crit. So again, don't worry, right? Let's just say, um, all right, cool. So this gets 10K. So now measly poke, better poke. Um, and then we go to the end step. We about like these two, call uh, both of these back. What you want to do is call them in the back row so that way your opponent can't just crash into them so they can't deny you the bear lock. That is very important as you don't want to get denied bear lock, right? Um, so cool, like you have this set up. These two are, are trapped. Um, and uh, so, right, you pass your turn now. So you have 10K in the front row. You have all this going on. And you have these four cards in hand, which is a little scary, right? It's like, uh, I don't know how safe I feel with that. Um, but let's just see, right? So let's just say that we take a trigger. Okay, cool. We got a defensive, so we get to draw a card. Draw into a Chrono Jet Dragon. Not the greatest, but something we can do here now. So we can activate the bear lock, right? Let's say we, like, we go to guard. Um, do that. We're going to go into bear lock. Bear lock then uh, procs the Urwatar. The Urwatar is going to pay its cost. Uh, draw two here. And we're going to put back... Do, do, do. do I put back a gear dog? Yeah, I think I have to kind of put back gear dog here. Right? So I put back Gear Dog, I shuffle. Because I kind of want this Chrono Jet in my hand because of the crest. I think everybody forgets about the modulation of the crest, honestly. But um, don't worry. Because uh, now you're about to see like why like Force 2 is kind of crazy going first. Um, so what we can do now is like, cool, like we can, we can Elementaria, right? We can PG. Um... Like so, and then we can G-Guard. I'm about to show you guys what you can do uh, if we get some other stuff too. Because we can play out of the bind zone with Slushma. So honestly, what I might do here is I might just like uh, pretty early Roo. Um, so that way I can just get some heals back in deck. So I'll put a heal and I'll put this Chrono Jet Dragon G back on the bottom of the deck. Because I want I want to be healing down. Um, I'm a little scared right now, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. We, have, we 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 trust, right? So now what we can do is we'll probably go into a slushma play because uh, yeah we're getting stuck. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, we're getting stuck. Okay, so we're gonna stride with this because when the discard is counted as a three, and we're gonna go into yeah we're gonna have to go into slushma because we just don't have we don't have the tools right. Um, Thankfully, though, we should be fine. Like, it, like in theory. Um. Yeah, so now we just have to see, like, what's in our bind zone and what we can do. And I think we're going to be okay. Um, because we're going to call the Chrono Jet. Uh, you can call the crit if you want. Um, it's kind of up to you. Like, you can call it up to here because it's a 24 for one. Um, which is kind of wild already. But, um, 
yeah, this is currently 13, uh, 13, 33, two crit. So this is like, yeah, this is 33, two crit. You can go, you can go 24, two if you want. Uh, what I would probably do here is I'd probably just swing the Slushma and activate his effect to draw the card. Make the Slushma bigger. It's another one. Uh, you'll bind this and then you'll call these two and you get to, um, we'll call like here though. And you'll be able to flip. Uh, you can honestly flip kind of anything like your safest bet is probably to flip the um, The uh, harmonics messiah just that way if you go into a thing or you could go or you could flip honestly To like a really safe flip is the g1 Um, just so that way you can go and you can copy if you go into a gear groovy next turn because then you can just flip that plus um, The history build and or history. Yeah, the history build and go crazy so yeah, you call these two, this gets 10k to the front row. So now the Schlishma is 20, 30, 43, uh, 53, 63, 68, two crit, um, which is pretty good. Like pretty good, pretty good pressure numbers. Um, and right, we uh, triple drive here. First tick away, second upstream, third draw PG. Uh, probably just put the power to the melon. Uh, because they're probably at a higher damage threshold. That's another Chrono Jet in my hand. That's crazy. Um, and then we get to, yeah, to do the following. So we'll swing uh, Melum. Melum's going to go shuffle away for another big old number. Uh, we're going to call Urwa Daddy. Just because you want to cycle like cards through this force marker. Um, that's why you did that. Uh, then what you can do is you can then swing good old uh, history maker. History maker time leap to grab another grade one. Go of course here. And... Um, Like, two if you wanted to. Like, you could kind of, like, skip some things. But I'm just going to call the dog. Because... Actually, no. At this point, you just call the Mazer Gear. Or you call the... Uh... Or you could call the Melum. You could call the Melum if you, like, get another heal, right? So, like, let's just say we bank on the heal off the Urwatar. Um, Because if we draw into the heal, then we can, like, actually naturally set up the Denial Griffin. Like, whole, like, defensive, like, trigger prowess thing. Uh, so, let's cut... Um, let's activate Erwitzar. To the bottom it goes. Draw two. Okay, no heal, but we could put back, I guess, tick away. I don't know. Um, and then another sizable number. This is 11 plus 25, 36, two crit. Um, yeah. So... I don't think necessarily though we live because now we have to. Now we have to pull something out of the deck. Oh boy. I honestly don't know. I honestly do not know. Um. Man. Uh. Do we grab? Do we just grab the cat? I think we just grab the cat in the hopes that we hit a draw plus like something into the stand, right? Like, I think that's the play. It's just We just have to be a little sacky. Um, so, yeah. That is the slish moosh turn um, that you can kind of do. Again, it's like zero counter blast, so, like, it's pretty good. Um, just be able to call, like, five attacks and give your front row 10k. Uh, numbers are pretty big. That's how much now we have face up in our G zone. Um, so, again, like, trust, right? Uh, now we take the damage. It's not a defensive, and so we probably die unless this is the OT. So, yeah. Um, again, like, as you can see, like, it's very glass cannony. Um, especially, like, if you have to G-assist. But, like, that's, that's kind of, like, how, like, the progression turns. Like, what you just try to find, you're just trying to feel it out and, like, have cards in your deck. But now I'm going to show you guys some combos, um, that you can do while you are, um... Uh, while you're doing your history, uh, we'll do the lost stage combo, right? Um, and then I'll show you guys the history build combo because uh, I think the next stage and the gear groovy um, combos are very, very like self-explanatory. But what I will do is definitely show you guys off some like 
few card combo lines that uh, let you do some pretty crazy things. Uh, and we'll just do this with Force 1 since, like, if you go second, that's what you'll be on. Or sometimes, too, like, you just don't get, like, see the heals or stuff to, like, warrant you going Force 2 because you're not going to, like, accelerate your GB count that fast. Um, so, yeah. Let's just say we have, like, a damage uh, and we're on the Lost Age turn. And we have two Force Wounds. So boop, boop. Uh, so you can we can use this, right? Uh, we have one face up currently in our G zone. And let's just, uh, we, I'll show you guys a few combo lines. So one of the really cool combo lines that you can do is if you have, um, if you have a Ride Fixer promo, if you have the uh, Alengar, and you have one of the good old uh, dragons. Where are you at, bro? Let's just say we pitched also a gear dog eight. Um, and you have one of these in hand. You can set up some pretty insane stuff. So like my in, in a perfect world, uh, the setup is this. Um, let's just say you have this and one open counter blast. Okay. Um, let's say that we're at two damage though. So let's just say we give ourselves another chrono chrono gang and we used we used the effect to put a trigger back um, And we called we called something uh, if that would be the case because most of the time I do shove a trigger back early Let's just say we have the melon. So let's just say like this is gonna be our setup, right? These four cards are gonna be our setup. And so this is gonna be a pretty crazy combo. Okay Just you just have to trust me on this. Okay so if we set up that whole thing with the ride fixer and did this, then this is our setup. Uh, we have these three cards in our hand and we use the gear dog eight to stride, right? So what you can do now is you can move up the melon. We can call homeboy. We can call, um, actually we can call this here, call this here and then um, call this here to target. So what you can do is you can start, start by swinging Melum boosted because you will want this to be boosted. So this has one instance. Uh, let me grab my dice here actually. So that way we can better illustrate what's going exactly on in this sequence. So this has been targeted once by the effect and has an additional 2000 power. Um, so we gain that red text skill. Um, again, why I really like these dice. These are the Procyon gaming dice. If you have not checked those out yet, please do. I uh, don't have anything from them. They're just dice that I really like to use. Um, so cool. So we get into this the 4k. So this is 21 26 uh, 33 and then you get to shuffle this back to deck and call a grade zero as rest So we will go ahead and call the other Urwatar out from our deck and I'm gonna show you how much you plus like raw I have no other cards in my hand which you will have other cards in your hand. So like don't worry, this 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 is pretty insane. Um, you will swing Alangar next. Uh, this is 25, 29 skill. You're gonna bot deck this. And you're gonna go call your upstream from deck. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna grab uh, upstream dragon. Right. Okay. Cool. So this is 29. So again, like solid number, like beats over a defensive and a half swing 30 tag back out. And of course you guessed it. We're going to target homeboy again. And again, this is like really basic, right? Like this is super, super not heavily convoluted. I like at all. Um, Cause you can do you can do so many things like right here inside this line uh, so what you can do now is you can swing this is uh, 28 33 37 uh, triple drive with bottom deck and two time leaps on the stack so let's just say we do the triple boom boom draw okay we draw third check uh, oh ang bali that kind of sucks because this would be our call target um, so and that's one of the problems like with chrono jet is like your drive check slow key like two times like mess you up but what you can do here is we can, we can do this. 
We can time leap both of these, right? Because the reason I like having the other Urbitar is because, again, you can set up for the pseudo bear lock. Um, this is like this is why this is one of my favorite combo lines. I've, I did this uh, twice during the, uh, the shop challenge because, like, this is a really good combo line if you get it. Um, so you get to time leap both of these. And my apologies, I put these off camera. It's just a force of habit to put them there because that's where I put my bind zone. Um, so you get a grade two and a grade one. So if you have more triggers and stuff in your drop, this is where, like, you call the tick away. And you call uh, the delayed blazer. Oh, no, that is history maker. That is not delayed blazer. My apologies. Where's my delayed blazer? Oh, it's at the top of the deck because it knew it wanted to come out. Uh, so yeah, delayed blazer and tick away. Uh, delayed blazer lets you go and do a bunch of different things. Um, it's going to let you time leap that Alengar, which is like way more important. But first, what you can do is to literally just have the rank Bali activate. You're going to draw two more cards. And you're going to shove the Bali back. Wow, I drew two Mazer Gears. That is so cheeks. Because um, now what you'll do is you'll time leap the Alengar. Be able to go grab again. And right where like you've put the dog, you've put like other triggers back. Like if you've guarded. Uh, this is why Tick Away is so good. Because it's also going to pseudo protect itself at the end of turn. Um, so now you have that. And now you get to call the Bali um, out from your deck. And this is going to be a pretty substantial number now. Um, if we whiff. So... Yep, that's two cards placed by time leap abilities that uh, Delayed Blazer has seen. Um, so, yeah. So, cool. These cards are in our hand. Uh, activate Bali. Bali top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six seven that's three heals in the top and no chrono jet which i mean is fine but uh wow that's crazy so now the bali is 33 38 on its own so yeah delayed blazer seen two so this would be two um this would be 13 um 23 28 35 and then 38 and then we have to finish resolving all these so come back these all here and this comes back and so now what you've done is you have set up another turn um and you've done a bunch of attacks so that was what how many attacks that was one uh one two three four five six uh seven off off the total thing and you can do more too like if you open up like tiktok melon lines like that's even more um it's just really dependent like if you have two open cb you can do a lot too um but like that's one of like the basic combos of where it's like you get two like time leap proc effects like with both of these showing up like is really important plus then you have like bear lock online so like what you can do is we can do like the bear lock here immediately if we needed to uh, and go up to like GB3. Uh, if I can find the bear lock, that'd be great. Oh, cool. Oh, there he is. Blip. 30. Skill. Here we go. Bot deck. Draw two. Wow, like nothing again. That's crazy. Uh, I couldn't even shove the PG back if I wanted to, to be honest. I probably would have to shove back a Mesa gear. That's crazy. Oh, no. I just have this back. We're at low enough damage. Um, and we're probably just going to take three here. I'm going to PG something. And, yeah. We're hoping on the value of no triggers, right? Um, and just hopefully this makes sense, like, where the whole, like, combo line, like, fluence out, right? So, it's first, second, stand, third is a... Wow. That is horrid, bro. Um, yeah. Dang. Uh, yeah, we PG here. And I call it good, right? Um, stand, tier, draw. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty. That's a pretty. This is a pretty terrible hand. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do some stuff, but yeah. Um, what we can do now is I can show you guys off like a little basic, um, a basic history build turn um that's also pretty good so let's just say we've bear lock g guarded and we have um yeah let's just say we've bear lock g guarded 
and we've guarded with a hetero around and a Rafana, right? So let's just say like this is this is ours. So let's just say we have these three face up, right? We've been we found two heals because we're we're goaded with the sauce because that that happened a lot yesterday, like by the grace. Um, for real so yeah let's just say like we have this all on standby so we're in the history build um because there's a lot of crazy lines you can do with the history build especially if you're not under the hanali so let's just say like for for demonstration purposes let's just say we have the two heals and drop which you guys can't see the drop but i i do always reveal let's say okay gear dog eight's out that's out that's out and that's out let's just say like this is our damage and we don't hit triggers because we're bad let's just say like we have like this much cb open all right let's well let's just let's let's be realistic let's say we have three cb open okay let's say we have three cb open let's be let's be a little realistic okay uh we used an ear cob to stride we have i don't know crit in the drop as well all right um and let's just say we have an Urwitzar. Let's say we have like an Urwitar in hand too, because like what you can do is I can also guys show you like why G. I still play G sometimes because G I think is still really good, because um, it can, it helps you set up for this turn better. And I can show you guys what I mean by that. Um, if I can find the gang, where's gang? Where's Gangstar at? Okay, there's Gangstar. All right, because you can still ride into this because of the crest, because it's a it's a great three with Chrono Jet and card name. Um, so let's just say we have the Urwitar and Earcob. Uh, do do do. Um. So let's say we have a history maker and and what else would I ever actually need? So we have TikTok. Say we have a TikTok. Let's go crazy here, huh? Let's go crazy. Or actually, no. Actually, you can do so much with this too. Like already, I can see a lot of lines. So let's just say we have another random grade one. Let's say we have this. So that way you can do some scaling. Right. So what we do is we start right stride. Going a little homie. Call. Time leap the boy into the melon. And again, this is just to get you guys like inside my brain of when I played this deck. Because a lot of people are like, I just don't understand like exactly all of the lines. Like I understand like time leap lines and stuff like that. Like history build. Um, I just, I just would really love to see like this, uh, this deck get played more and I will have, I'll have matches with this list. I wasn't able to record my shop challenge yesterday just cause I couldn't like get my equipment, uh, moved up there. But, uh, this one's, this one's been pretty good, um, for real. So, uh, we have, okay, cool. Then the Urbatar activates, right? So let's just see if we can get into more combo pieces. Okay. We get a more history maker and a heart thumb worker. We are going to put the heart thumb worker back. We love triggers in deck. We are triggers in deck of the game. And we've also strode using that. My bad. So yeah, let's say we have like three random triggers and drop two because um, this is going to be uh, it's going to be a pretty helpful turn, I, I, I can foresee. Because uh, we're going to loop we're going to loop this melon a few times. So let's just say we call this here and call this here. Yeah, this feels correct. So we have this card in our hand, right? Okay, so swing Melum. Melum uh, at this stage of the game would be 21, 31, uh, 41, 46 by herself. That's wild. She shovels away. We're going to grab Urwatar. Urwatar is so good. Urwatar just lets us plus so much. And don't worry, because history build is going to be able to like do all of this stuff, right? And you don't even need this much counter blast. Like, this is the thing. So, we can do a little uh, attack count tracker, too. So, that's one. Oh, we're, we're messing up the G zone here. Oh, no. What a crime. Um, right? Then we go 24. The big old number. We're going to activate this again. CB. Blink. Uh, Urwatar. Call back out Melum. Again, right? Because all I said, like, in the deck profile is that you're only really going to time leap, like, two to three cards. Unless you're literally just trying to deaden cards on the bottom of your deck. Which is which is a, a pretty, like, fine strategy. Like, there's nothing wrong inside doing that um, at all. So, yeah, you have the Melum here. Again, we have plenty of soul. 
Why is that TikTok still on my soul? No, dude, TikTok's not even in my soul. Uh, um, right. So cool. We have that. Uh, we're gonna activate the Urwatar now. We're gonna draw two. We're gonna put this heal. Uh, actually, we have one left. We're low key gonna keep this and then shove, shove the History Maker back just to be safe. Um, you could shove the heal back though, and chances of like hitting it, like that's that's also another thing too. But also like if you still have able to G guard, like you should take the heal just because. Gear Chronicle struggles on defense. So here we are. Again, 46. Uh, hold on, we need to get a final number. Because it's 12, 22, 27. Or 12, 22, 30, uh, 40, 50, 55. Yeah, 55. This is 46 again. Uh, go and grab another Urwatar. Because again, now we're going to like draw three off one Urwatar to start the turn is crazy. It's again why I love Jet G a lot. Because Jet G lets you do a lot of cool things. Uh, even though it kind of restricts you in going to the future. Um, of a lot of better things, it can literally help you like unbreak your hand. Like if you didn't have this and you had that in hand, you could go search this. Um, like very, very, very good stuff um, for real. Okay, so now we're going to swing history build. So that was uh, attack number three. Don't worry, there's going to be way more. Soul Blast 1. We're going to time leap these three. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to you're gonna trust me. You got to trust me on this. We're going to go grab... Hmm. There's, there, there's two lines we could do. There's two lines we could do. We're going to do... We're going to do the smarter line. So we're going to... We're going to grab... Or of course, we're going to grab Tick Away. Because we want to see our Tick Away boy. Um, we also have to flip the Slishma, because the Slishma is now the extender. Um, we're going to grab... Bali. And we're going to grab... You can grab the Alangar. So if you're not on G2, another appropriate like call target off the three is this, if you wanted to know. Right? So now we have three effects happen, right? So we can shove these two to the bottom again if we want to continue to try to heal, um, which like probably at this stage in the game we're going to try to. Like we're pro probably me and my opponent are tied up four, so I'm going to try to get some heal action like in here. Like I just want to be able to continue living. Um, and then we're going to activate, oh yeah, well, these would go to the bottom. My apologies. If these would go to the bottom. Then I'd activate the Bali effect to shuffle them. My apologies. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. Uh, Ooh, there is a chrono jet. Would we want to add it at this point though? No, we're trying to kill our opponent. Um, so, but hold on. How, how big is our front row? So this would be, he would be 23, 33 43 53 uh 53 53 is a pretty solid number um although that is a chance to hit a trigger so why don't we just rip it and just make it a 53 right i don't think i need to go to 63 i think i need to go that ham you know what i'm saying um but this is why slishma is so good you guys are about to see why slishma is one of the craziest cards in this deck so you can do this actually like this whole combo with like about two cb um so this is 28 31 41 51 61 triple drive go crazy on them so okay triple drive here history maker alangar and a crit let's just give the crit to the bali uh because it's gonna have to guard it anyway bali swings here for a crit now we activate the slishma the slishma binds the bali and calls herself now we swing the Schlishma here. The Schlishma is 25, 35, 45, 50. Now we swing the Alangar. The Alangar now activates the effect to protect the tick away dragon and call a grade two, but not just any grade two. We're gonna fizzle this own attack. And we're gonna go grab a Chrono Jet. Because Delayed Blazer has the time leap skill. Now, you could do this too. This turn is better if you have the Jet G in deck. Because this is a little bigger. Um, because it's going to get the inherent power from this. But, 
As you can see, now I get three more attacks. It's pretty gas. It's pretty gas. Um, so what you can do now is we can go delayed blazer. This would be 11 plus um, 11, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54. So 54, swing. This is 23, 33, 43, 53. Skill, bind again. Soul Blast Uno. And grab this to swing for one more attack. So what we did is we added three attacks there. We had a Vanguard swing. Like I, I even like stopped counting. So hold on, let's 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 run that back. So this was one this was one, two. Three, four, five. Dang, we had a lot of attack. We had three melon attacks. Then we had this setup. So we had one, two. So we had four, five, six. Then we have to grab the other dice here. Five, six. Seven, get fizzled. Eight, nine, ten. Good old, good old 10 attack turn. 10 attack turn for 2 CB. I say that's pretty good. For 2 CB, and those numbers are crazy. So, that's why Slishma is actually a really good card. Like, you can you can play it for the playing out of the bind zone, or you can play it for just literally being an extender in your G zone. The card is absolutely wild. So, uh, that's why I really like, like, this deck. Um... I hope you guys like enjoyed the combo too because like the gear groovy like the more options you have face up in your g zone the better gear groovy could become so like you really can turn gear groovy into a restanding vanguard plus like time leaping your entire board um it's just very dependent on the pieces you have but i hope that i showed you guys some really like interesting combo lines to where you guys are like okay cool like this deck's like actually like pretty neat um again helmet 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 uh because it's 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 a crest deck but uh and if you don't ride the crest you die but if you ride the crest nine times out of ten your opponent is dying unless they're playing like a nubatama crest or something crazy which um which will be previewed this week as uh i was playing my old list that didn't do hot in miami um or actually i was playing an old list that wasn't even really that good um but uh uh, I can show that off, and I can also show off the new Batama list that did really well at our shop challenge down in Miami. Um, and, yeah. So, with that being said, make sure you guys go like and subscribe. If you guys like these combo tutorials and these explanations, like, as a separate video, let me know. I just hate putting a giant video into one thing, because then, like, you guys um, have to sit there for, like, an hour, and people don't have that time, so if you really have one to break it up into two segments, I can break it up into two videos for you all, um, just because that's how that is, and I know for me, for personally, like, I hate, like, having to pause a video and then come back to it, but um, I really do love you guys. I'm really super thankful for, like, all your support and, like, everything, and I'm sorry that I've not been able to do content like as how I want it and how consistency as consistently as I wanted it. But, um, that shouldn't matter because I know that you guys got my back at the end of the day and that I'm going to be able to deliver you, deliver you guys the quality that I want. So I hope you all are having a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. I love you all. God bless and take care.